O YouTube. This is VidHead85, and I am about to go ahead and pause this thing here because, well, it doesn't need to be there. Because you came for the Reddit, you came for my lovely voice. So this was an interesting Am I the Asshole? Because I think that uh, this one was interesting to me. So I probably should go to the actual Reddit page. But I like this one because I can get through them as a little quicker. This one is called Terrible Aunt Backed for Only Inviting Three of Sisters' Ten Kids to Wedding by Taylor McLeod. Well, okay, exit out. Members of a popular internet forum rallied behind one recently married woman who only invited some of her nieces and nephews to her wedding. In the viral post published on Am I the Asshole, Redditor U Bright Physics 8375, otherwise here ref hereto after referred to as OP, said her nuptials were not child free, but revealed how including all of her sister's family would have driven the wedding cost through the roof. Titled, Am I the Asshole for Only Inviting Some of My Sister's Children to the Wedding? The post has received nearly 6,500 votes, upvotes, and 1,500 comments since October 24th. My sister Dawn has 10 children, OP began. Dawn and her husband believe that having lots of children is God's will. Oh God, they're competing like, competing with the Duggars. Continuing to explain that inviting all 10 of her nieces and nephews would have a cost, cost a significant amount of money that she and her now husband are paying for the wedding themselves. The original poster said that she made the decision only to invite her son's three oldest children. The original poster added that her sister took great offense, of course she did, to seven of her children being excluded and has continued the issue for months after the wedding. She accused me of being a bridezilla and thinking I'm too good for her and her family. Dawn, her husband, and three eldest did come to the wedding, but with other family members bringing small children, everyone was asking her why not all of her kids were there. So, you know what, this is the thing. Um, okay, first of all, she thinks her kids aren't good enough. Her family isn't good enough. Um, the reason she accused Bridezilla of it is because, I don't know, maybe is she really okay with having all these kids? That's the first thing I want to say is, is she really, is Dawn really okay with having all those kids? Because something, now, then there was another part where she took great offense to seven of her children being excluded. Um, does she, was she, would she have been willing to pay for all 10 of them? And even then, um, I'm going down a rabbit hole here, but I just, I just think that it's OP's wedding. And OP should invite whoever she wants to. So the three eldest, who actually probably would be able to enjoy the wedding, should be invited. Okay. Dawn has been very off around me lately, OP added. She told me she understands how I feel about her babies and said that I'm a bad sister and a terrible aunt. And has accused me of not respecting her religion and lifestyle. Okay, she's grasping, at, Dawn is grasping at straws here. Um, she doesn't feel terrible about her babies, and she's not a bad sister or a bad aunt. You just can't bring all 10 of your kids to the wedding, period. Like, everybody, just because you had 10 kids doesn't mean everybody else has to have, always has to be around your 10 kids. Despite their main purpose to celebrate the union of two loving partners, weddings often teeter on the border between celebration and contention. Okay, let, let's go to the Redditors React, because I'm tired of how they pad this and try to make this a more important thing than it is. We came for the, we came for the situation and the comment section. First one, Redditor U Green Red Crescent wrote in the, pre, in the top comment, If your sister was so upset, she could have offered to contribute to the cost, which has over 14,000 votes. A consequence of having a load of kids is that people aren't going to want to cater to all of them at events because it's a very big cost, they added. Redditor, um, she literally said it wasn't in the, in the budget for 10 kids plus two adults. That's a family of 12. You didn't say no to kids. You didn't say no kids. You said no to 12 people, Redditor Bambi Rizzo argue, uh, agreed. 10 plus ones are a lot, Redditor Persimionis Salad chimed in. You could have asked your sister to contribute to the cost if she wanted them all there, 
but otherwise I think your decision was fine. It was your wedding after all, they added. Newsweek, okay, couldn't, okay. So honestly, I think, okay, so for this one, this definitely would be, um, I think I saw it in in, in an entitled people um, thing. The fact remains that there are, okay, 10 kids plus, okay, first of all, I can't imagine, I'm pretty child free and, you know, I, I can't imagine having, I can't imagine 10 kids in one house. Like I had, I, I'm the oldest of five and oh my gosh, thinking of having, thinking of living, oh God, like how did the Duggars survive? Like, honestly, I, I would have thought it would have been, would have been Lord of the Flies in there. Uh, I can't imagine them like 10 kids, nine siblings. Man, how did the Wayans even survive? They, my, Mama Wayans has so many kids. Anyway, you know what? Yeah, um, yeah. Just because they have ten kids doesn't mean that everybody needs to be involved or need to be like. The reason that, that she's taking this as an indictment of her quote lifestyle is because she didn't want to have all ten of them there. And what's the problem? Like, it's not. It's. This is this is Dawn. I have a feeling that Dawn isn't really happy with all this. I think that she pr- pretends she's happy with this, probably because her husband wants to wants to be. I don't know, but either way, either way. Okay, have a good one, and thank you so much for joining me.